welcome, welcome um, back to my channel or to my channel. Uh, today I will be looking at my December TBR. I'm quite excited for this TBR because obviously there are some holidays and although I'll be busy visiting people I'm also going to hopefully get a lot more reading time in. So I have got well a lot of books for myself probably not for some others. I, I legitimately watched a YouTube video the other day where the lady said that she had only got to 14 books and she was very upset about this and I was like, if I read 14 books I would be amazed. <laughs> there are also quite a few books here that I'm quite excited to read and get to. I guess that's the same with all TBRs but specifically there's a couple on here that I've been wanting to read for a while so yes, without further ado let's get into the books I'm hoping to read in the Christmas month of December. The first one is a Kindle book um, or I bought it on Kindle, not again Kindle book specifically, so I'll put a picture here-ish maybe, and that is Beguiled by the Night. Now, I actually saw this book on a YouTube channel called Steve Talks Books and Stuff. Um, they were doing a readathon in the month of November. Unfortunately, I just didn't have time in November to read the book, but it sounded really interesting and um, exciting read, so I thought I will put it on my December TBR because I can always catch up later and then discuss the book in a bit. This obviously is a tale about vampires, as said in the title. Um, apparently it's described as a complex tapestry of time, horror and beauty, deftly woven with gore and redemption. Now, I legitimately have not read any vampire books since reading um, True Blood um, and Stories of Stack House, uh, so I think this will be uh, quite a fun one to jump into. Uh, apparently, potentially, it's um, more on the gore and horror side of things, but I'm, I'm really not too sure. It has a beautiful cover and yes, it will be an interesting read for me. As I said, I've not read this type of book for quite a long time, so looking forward to that one. Right, the next book on my TBR is Lunar New Moon by Ian MacDonald. Um, this one I bought a little while ago and haven't got around to yet, but I'm very much looking forward to it. I have read the first few chapters, I'm getting a little bit of a head start on this one. Uh, description is five um, com commercial or cooperative families who run the moon in a city on the moon. Uh, and then it's kind of about the chaos that occurs when they fall out. This um, so far has been very interesting. There is a lot of discussion about the fact that you, the resources available to it, so you have to pay for your air, your water, you know, what you eat, and those can get restricted if you don't have the money to pay for them. So that's kind of like a very, a very interesting uh, take on things, and I'm quite looking forward to get to this one. The third book I'm hoping to get to in December um, will be an audiobook, and it's called The Project by um, Courtney Summers. This is the follow-up novel to Sadie. Um, I'm not sure when that one came out actually, but um, I absolutely adored Sadie. The audiobook had fantastic production, was a really fun listen to. Um, even though it had very heavy subject matter, the project seems to follow in that kind of theme. Again, I've heard that it's really good audio um, quality production, um, multiple different people telling the story um, with different characters being voiced by different people. Um, and also, again, probably quite heavy subject matter, but um, should be an excellent read. I think this one is more about the cult, I believe. The next one is, I'm going to try so hard, the next one is going to be Station Eleven. I've talked about this book before multiple times. Um, last time I didn't get to it when it was on my September TBR, I think, but this is the book that I will be taking home when I visit family, and I always have a lot of additional time to read during then. So Station Eleven, I'm really hoping I get to it for this month. Okay, so the final book on my December TBR will be Snow by John Banville. This has been um, one that was in Waterstones when I picked it up and was described as a typical elegant country house of mystery. It's set in 1957 in the winter and it's kind of like one of those murder mysteries that occurs in a, a big stately home and then the police don't have to come in to um, investigate. Um, set in the winter, um, I always love cold grey murder mysteries, so I'm hoping that this will um, also be a great recommendation. Had a sticker on the front, I was quite upset about, but it came off very nicely, so I was very pleased. A bonus book that I'm not sure I'm going to get to, but I will put it on here just in case, is Joe Abercrombie Before They Are Hanged. This is the second book in, oh my god, I've completely forgotten the series name, but the one that comes after The Blade Itself adored the blade itself, gave it 5 out of 5 stars, I'm hoping that this is as good a follow-up but I know this is quite a chunky boy and I haven't been reading too much fantasy so this is kind of like a, an optional addition to my December TBR that I won't 
Um, I won't hate on myself too much if I don't get to. I think that's it. That was one, two, three, four, five, and a bonus sixth book. Um, as I said, there is always a little bit more time to read in December, so hoping I'll be able to get through quite a few. Let me know if you've sorted your December TBR out and if there's anything you would recommend from it. Um, like and subscribe if you want to, as always, and I will see you in the next video.